Hello, uh, there's one more thing. I forgot to mention that I'm hoping to also do reviews on this video games I have and tell them, you know, how they are. Some old, some new, you know. Too many new because I'm a bunch of the newer games. Uh, just so I forgot to mention that. Guess I can do a favor and do one right now. Just go behind me and, like, Grab a random game and tell you what I think about it. Simple as that. Could be a surprise. Could be a Wii game. Could be PS3. Could even be N64. Or anything other than that, because, you know, I don't really have a bunch of uh, other games anymore. Okay, well, just turn around and grab something. I think I have a pretty cool game like down here. Is it? Yep. That's how Star Alps go in old school right now. Okay, right here. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get it on camera as best I can. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is an older game. Came out a while back ago. 64 game, so it's hard to find. But, you know. Camera. Uh. It's, it's hard to find, but you could probably look on uh, Amazon and find it. Have an N64. I bought an N64 for my uh, 17th birthday. About last year. I was about to buy Dragon Age, but I thought, you know, I could get a whole game system and some games for the same price. Next to Majora's Mask. <clears throat> it is a good game, even though it is hard to find. Find, uh, that's from the mouse, so the better is it. It's hard to find, but, you know, it's a great game. If you ever played Ocarina of Time, it's the sequel of that, where after, uh, spoilers on Ocarina of Time. But, you know, you probably played it. I'm just going to remind you how great the games are so you can go and buy them again. Not that I'm doing an advertisement for anybody. Like Nintendo. I don't owe them money. They owe me money. I buy all those games from them all. But, yeah. After you defeat Ganon and Zelda sends Link back in time to return the Master Sword. The end credits of uh, Ocarina of Time, you kind of see that Navi... Kind of goes the opposite way of Link. And Majora's Mask starts where Link's looking in the lost woods looking for a friend, which is believed to be Navi. He crashes into a uh, Skull Kid while he's on a Pona. Skull Kid knocks out Link. Deals a Pona in the uh, Ocarina of Time. And Link will, will trace. What? Trace. Sorry, I can't talk. Chase. Go kid into uh, a different world from Hyrule, known as Termini, I think you'd pronounce it. And when he goes there, it's supposed to be a big festival. Woo! Party! Which is three days away, right? But you know, actually, something I forgot to mention is that. The Skull Kid changes Link into a baby Deku sh uh, shrub, whatever you say, you know, from the other game. They sold you stuff and stuff like that. Deku scrub, that's what it is. All right. Changes you to one before you enter via Mask. Mask are involved in this game, hence kind of the name, Mask, isn't it? But in any way, uh... When Link arrives in Termina, he meets the Happy Mask Salesman from uh, Ocarina of Time. He plays a whole lot bigger role than he does in this game. And he tells Link that he'll be able to turn Link back into human, but Link will need the Ocarina of Time, of course. But another thing is that Link would like him to return a mask that the Skull Kid stole from him known as Majora's Mask, which is a very powerful and very evil mask, which, you know, it's kind of right here on the cover, I don't know how well you can see it, right there, yeah. when you count on a skull, skull kid, you know, he was wearing it, so, you know, but, 
Link has to get the mask back within three days because the happy mask salesman wants to leave. You know, can't stay there forever. And anyway, uh, and anyway, when uh, he goes there, the festival is going to be in three days and stuff, and he tries to like look for the skull kid. He goes to an observer's house, looks and sees the skull kid on a top of the clock tower, which has a lot to do with the festival. And anyway, and people and people are starting to notice that the moon is like crashing down, getting close to Earth, which is going to crash. And this was due to Skull Kid. So anyway, Link goes on quest as a Dooku scrub. This isn't too long, but you know, he just does some stuff, and he makes his way to the. Uh, he's able to make his way to the top of the clock tower at midnight on the final day. Where the moon crashes, and you enter into a little mini fight with the skull, with yeah, skull kid. Nothing much, and he will drop the fairy ocarina. I mean, not the fairy ocarina, the ocarina of time, and uh, that brings Link back into a flashback, and he remembers learning the uh, song of time from Zelda before he left, and uh, he plays the song, which allows him to go back to the first day. And he still has the ocarina, so he returns to the Happy Mask Salesman. And uh he turns back into Link and the Dusk and the Deku Scrub is now a mask that Link could put on at any time and transform into the Deku Scrub. Uh and uh and then the Happy Mask Salesman gets mad at Link and becomes the unhappy mask salesman. Because Link was unable to return Majora's Mask to him. And if he isn't able to do that, that means it's bad news. Because, you know, this is a scary mask. We don't want to mess with that. And, uh... And, you know, it tells him the story and Link has to, like, go on a quest like usual. And he'll was able... And he gets, like... That. Sorry. And he gets, like, other mask on the journey they have, they, they have mystical powers you can say there's like 24 masks in total five allow you to transform uh the first tower you go to which is like a swamp you have to be the deku scrub to like do most of it you can even fight the boss as a deku scrub but this fun is the wink alright be a whole lot easier the second Dungeon you encounter, you get the uh, you uh, you return, you gotta go to uh, Goron Village, it's kind of like that, and you'll notice that's frozen, uh, uh, snows everywhere, and like you find the Lens of Truth, which allows you to see a ghost Goron, and he will like give you his powers in mask form so you can now transform into a Goron. And you'll need that power in the uh, second dungeon. Actually, when you fight the boss, Five Minutes of Goron is the funnest and easiest way as I see to do it. And then after that, you'll go to like a river, ocean, which is like Zoro Domain in Ocarina of Time. And you'll actually like save. A dying Zora, but he dies anyway. But in the end, he'll give you his power, which is in the form of a mask. And you become a Zora, which you need to complete the temple. Okay. Oh, and like after each time you defeat a boss, it's like a boss possessed by a mask. Little mask, kind of like Majora, like Majora, and it unlocks. A giant which will be able to stop the moon. Alright, and then the fourth temple, the final temple. Uh, you do that as regular link. But you can find a mask 
which was when you find this transformation mason mask, you're only able to use it in the boss room of this temple. And it makes you grow into a giant link. Yeah. Which is good to defeat the boss there. Because I had a hard time defeating him as a normal size link. He used light arrows, which cost up a lot of magic. And like and like you know, and actually the area on the fourth dungeon is supposed to be like a beautiful area, except for a thief hangs out there. But like due to the monster possessing like the monster controlled the temple, they're like Undead, zombies, mummies, ghost stuff like that. Skeletons. Alright, and then when you get beat the mask, I mean when you get off for mask, you return to the third day at midnight again. But you'll play a song, which will summon the four giants that will stop the moon. Right, good. Moon's, yeah! Moon's down. Like, get your party going. Mm, mm, mm. But wait, there's a problem. Majora's Mask takes un, you know, like, well, like get rid of Skull Kid because he's too weak and hard to keep control of, and he'll fly into the moon because the moon is not done from crashing. The four giants were able to stop it, so he gets to go inside the moon. He can play many games with like, with like they look like kind of like child versions of Happy of the Happy Mask Salesman. Wearing the mask of the bosses wore. But you have to have all masks to do that. And when you defeat, and if you beat all their mini games, you can talk to the one with, with the Majora's mask on it, and he'll reward, and he'll play a game of good guys, bad guys, where you play the bad guy. And he'll reward you an awesome mask, but you can wear, you become like a giant link, but you're like, have double hex sword. So with two hands, and if you have full HP and you swing it, beans will come out. Which just makes the fight way too easy. You can use that mask on any boss fight because you can refight bosses. But it makes it super easy. It's kind of like a cheat way of doing it. But you know, just to have around to save all the mask. And when you defeat Majora's Mask, the moon will shoot back up into the sky it looks like. I hear some people say it's like gets destroyed, but you can't destroy the moon. And uh the party will start and Link will like leave, go back to the Lost Woods and all that. And then the Skull Kid become friends because it turns out the Skull Kid he met was the same skull was the same skull kid that like Link seen in Ocarina of Time that he taught the they talk the song to and it stands for a piece of heart, so you know that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is a great game though. If you don't have it and you've never played it, go to Amazon, go to Slackers, buy an N64, buy this game, even though you have to buy the expansion pack. They're like five to ten dollars, no problem. And play this game, it's a great game. Not as good as Ocarina of Time, but I'll probably do that for a later day. So yeah, I'd rate out of five stars, I'd rate this game a. Uh, what would I rate it? Probably get it a three and a half out of five. It's a great game, and I'd give it a five out of five if I wasn't like trying to be a little professional on it, which I'm not. Which I'm not professional, I'm just trying to be, but. You know, it has some moments I didn't like, like only having uh, four dungeons made it kind of a uh, smaller game, and the three day time period kind of made it like kind of hard. Like, you know, I get down halfway down with the dungeon, but I didn't have any time to beat the boss yet, so I had to play the song and like more or less start over again. So, yeah, which you know, they're going for a challenge, and you know, I didn't accept that. It was like a different. Thing of the game, you know. Does have a great cover though, you know, all gold. Kind of see Link move, stuff like that. So yeah, and I guess I can see what I'm gonna do next and get ready for the next video I decide to make when I make it.
I do uh hmm. Hey guys, let's try and see what to do in the new uh uh yes I could do uh uh yes next time I'll do uh SmackDown hold on SmackDown vs Raw two thousand nine. Alright, see you then. Bye. That was awkward. See you then, and remember, number to draw 2009. See my opinion on this.